Uh, you know what? I think he's going to upgrade. He's going to invest in a ring of protection, I think. 2000 Can I get that? Uh, let me see the shops. The uh, shops are pretty, are pretty oh, small. Right. Um, Hang on. I'm in the wrong. Shops markets, Brandomir. We're going to say the old scale armory could potentially sell you it. Uh, they've got a 70% chance of having one of those available. Old scale armory? All right. Yeah. Roll. Oh. Nope. Nope. He will save his money then. Old skill armory can enchant armor uh, plus one at a plus twenty percent rate. So I think the little uh, Alistair is going to spend some of his money on putting magic on his armor and his shield. Not a bad idea. Which I think is a hundred and twenty per. So that. Plus one shirt and plus one buckler. Minus 2,400. That leaves him with two grand. 2,600. Well, let's see. The little, little bastard probably wants a wand of... Um, a half power wand, which he gets of healing. Yep. Want to cure like wounds with twenty five charges. If you were to put plus one on one of his weapons, what should you put it on? Um, oh, his little crossbow, probably. His crossbow is magical. You, you took that from Oh, me. that's right. Um, he's got a kukri? He's got a kukri, a dagger, and a light pick. Go with the light pick, because if he's going to coup de gras something, then he can't be worried about DR. He spends his last two grand on putting magic on his armor. So he basically put magic on all of his things. I'm going to yeah. add those to the shops because that that is a way that oh that armor shop is getting close. And then the hobgoblin's arsenal, ten percent premium. Oh yeah, that's right. It's already, oh, that's it's already right. upgraded. Okay, so that was uh, uh, that was Alistair. Um, Chaga, I think needs to outright buy the full plate, and then you can put the enchantment on it, so he can he can do that. He outright buys the tower shield and does that, and then the mule back cords. He needs to roll percentage. They do have it. Um, is that too much, though? Um, Barnabas will loan him some money if he really needs nope, it. Nope, it's 4830. I, I, I guesstimated that pretty close. Uh, minus 4830 equals it's got 200 gold pieces left. And that is no longer a shopping list of his stuff he owns. Which means he's going to toss back his Masterwork Breastplate into the Treasure and Loot to be sold next time. Okay.
All right, items for the two uh, for Junker. Uh, or Glo Junker needs to upgrade some stuff. armor because he's getting beat. And he needs a plus one weapon. There's so many things you could get for Junker, it's it's hard to just pick. Yeah, so I think Ghost is going to put plus one on his bow. Definitely a good idea. I think that's hard to argue with. Yep. Um, that is expensive, but worth it. Then... Items he just got. Got an annual natural armor. His armor class did go up a little bit. I think I'm just going to figure this out uh, off off outline. He is going to spend a bunch on special arrows. Okay. Uh, unless there's a, um, let me check the quiver of uh, efficient quiver. Fishing quivers are 1,800 gold. Let me check the shops. Uh, it's still out of the range of some of the shops. And you guys don't know about the uh, Elan strings yet. <laughs> okay. But it, when Capra sees somebody else is buying special arrows, <laughs> like, hurry, like, hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> it was going on. <laughs> uh, okay, that was uh, that was Ghost, and then Junker. You're saying needs a magic spear. I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah. Got magic armor. He's got a spear. He can potentially learn some alchemy spells. Mark the. Uh, he's going to dabble into rogue. It'll make him okay. a slightly weaker alchemist, but he's going to take as his rogue talent at second level melee archer. Which is the same talent that uh, oh. that uh, Ghost has. Yes, and he will eventually. There, eventually, they'll be like, they'll <laughs> run up to people, but then fire at them. So yeah, he... almost there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> now, if they take um, range sniper, does that add the, that sniper one where you add to the sneak attack? Does that add to that? I'll have to look. is maybe he's already he's already like maxed out levels in sneak attacks so i don't know if he gains above uh above his level for sneak attack I'll no I, I he wouldn't but mm -hmm. maybe uh it, it works out in the wash um, I think I'm going to save his cash for now unless I see something as I comb through the magic item lists, um, yeah. what he's got. Um, I think we're good here. So 15 days goes by, uh, the group settles into the tower, Los um, interacts with all of you. Um, he, he seems to be mollified for a time with the with the promise that you guys will eventually get him a sword, which Chaga reminds you that we need to get Los a sword. Uh, and I'm just going to put uh, Los, the ghost of Los, from the sandbox into the party sheets. Okay. And move Los's old character sheet into the... Do we have an afterlife? Archive. <laughs> And then on his character sheet, we'll mark down that he's got 3,000 gold. Yep. 
treasure. 3,000 gold pieces. If you guys fail to resurrect Ghost, here will be his 20 level build. And he will come after you. <laughs> Ghost 2, Ninja 10, Swashbuckler 8. And then on the back side will be Sorcerer 8, Arcane Trickster 10. That's. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Fox's ghost character is deliciously OP. Yes, and and I and I did some things. So there's some things that you guys haven't quite found out about. But I'm like, how do I make this playable? Uh, it is a little bit like the 3d6 all day long attack is. You know, it's a standard action. So the three action system fixes it a little bit. It's not yeah. every. It's not every attack. Um, I made him bound to his object. So he is only he is bound to this urn, and he can only go ten feet uh, per level of the urn. I should have made it three thirty feet instead of fifty. But um, if he's ever destroyed, however, he rejuvenates inside the urn. That's and two d four days later, he'll appear. Yeah, um, uh, what else? Bonded items. So he could have magic items. We haven't learned this yet. Mm -hmm. uh, one item per character level, if they are magical items, he receives benefits of the item so long as they remain within range of the urn. And then his, so, go his ghost is considered uh, to be um, possessing that item. So someone's got to carry his gear for him. Someone's got to carry his gear for him. Ghost touch weapons do not count towards this limit, and ghost touch uh, weapons will actually go into the urn with him. Okay, cool. Because I thought, okay, we have to have the sword made, and then someone's got to carry the sword for him. The bonded item, somebody's going to have to carry those in them. Or if the bottom yeah. items are small enough, you stick it inside the stick urn. Stick it in the jar. With, Here's your ring of protection. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he will be able to get some magic items, but you're going to have to like manage. This is Pathfinder, basically, 1E, yeah. third edition, where most characters at the end of their careers have 30 magic items on their character sheets. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, he only gains ghost abilities once every six levels. And I've got a really good one for, uh, for his sixth level one. Uh, first level ghosts tend to have corrupting touch and the magical aging is a errata on the ghost touch. They changed it from ne uh, necromancy or like native energy into magical aging. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're, your death wards don't stop this okay he's got flight 30 perfect ridiculous skill bonuses on some things he now uses his charisma for his con does he get his charisma as a deflection bonus he gets his charisma as a deflection bonus That's his ac is like 21 right now 25 with mage armor 29 with mage armor and shield he still gets uh... all you have nothing to complain about. <laughs> Especially when, oh no, you were killed. You'll be back in 2D4 days. So okay. shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> as long as nobody does anything bad to the urn. Yeah. Uh, the urn itself, uh, you guys might want to like put magic on the urn. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shatter! <laughs> right. Uh, well, yes. Actually, actually, we, we really do need to ward it just for something as simple as someone sees that and goes, oh, I know what that is, shatter. Shatter or takes their great club and puts it through the yeah. urn, right? Like, Thunder. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Chaga and you guys are going to have to cart this little, <laughs> this little artifact around. I'm sure put it around. <laughs> uh, and uh, I thought that would be pretty fun. Mark, we had rolled offline the next adventure for this for this mad little group um is, does the hook happen now um hang on let me see again i'm looking at it now because i'm gonna hand the dm no. stick back to you I, I, i'm taking the dm stick okay. all right I, hang on a sec as i've uh, given you some ridiculous things to have to deal with <laughs> As Fox has said, yeah, uh, even a ghost that reaches thirty feet away from his jar is a bit of a, is is OP. Yeah. Uh, hook sage or learned person. Uh, 
It could be. Yep. I'm spending a DM point. Okay. We'll do the hook now. Do the hook now? Sure. Yep. Uh, right. So 15 days. They've pretty much settled into the tower. Uh, they've got probably beds, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, we've got beds, pillows, just enough to make us comfortable. Clean pots and pans. It, it, we're making it a home. Um, I'm going to say that we found um, uh, Junker and Ghost found an entrance to the sewers and, and disposed of disposed of the bodies. Sure. <laughs> like, like they had to leave. It's not like we have a strategic sewer entrance right near here, but yeah, yeah. The, the bodies are now gone. All right. Uh, he's talking with uh, Chaga. You know, uh, where are they? Yeah, sure. P put them in the common room because I don't think we hang out in our bedrooms, quite frankly. Uh, in the comfy seats in the in the, in the yeah, library. That'll be that'll be, that'll be their chatting spot. And, <laughs> spot. and Chaga pretty much carries this urn around with them everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there might be someone I've heard of that can help maybe shed some light on our friend's predicament here. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm done with this tome. You can have your spectacles back. Oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a very, very dull read. Uh, a lot of it is. A lot of it's magical theory. You, you think that halflings would know more than just savory it's a Catholic book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, Everything is so dense. I mean, sometimes you watch light and fluffy. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> a little crumble, you know? Like, ah. Then again, what they do that make that, that savory, it's really fun. Somebody good. say my name? No, we said savory. Is your name fucking savory? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 there might be someone I can think of who might be able to shed some light on uh, our dearly departed friend. Yeah, yes. It's no one in town, though. And it's likely not someone who's going to be apt to speak with us. Ooh, why not? Well, she's a creature of pure evil. Ooh. Then why would we go and speak to a creature of pure evil? She knows about soul binding. Ooh. You're familiar with what a night hag is? I can't say that I have, although yeah. I imagine there are hags that roam around at night. Barnabas <laughs> sometimes looks away from Chaga, like, really, this is the best I get? All right. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's exactly what they do. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, Arcana. Chaga got a net one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That and they bind cells, all right? Ooh, similar, not dissimilar from what's happened to Lotes. So, what are we going to figure out? He seems to be very comfortable in there. He seems yeah. to be comfortable here. Our families haven't come looking for us, and if they have, they've failed to think that we captured a, a powerful conjurer's tower. What we've got is him in something very fragile. It's made of fucking clay. One shatter spell and it's gone. Uh, yes, I was thinking... You know how we make armor very uh, strong? Could we make this clay pot more strong with magic? We uh, could. The craft or weapons? perhaps we can transfer our dear friend to something a bit more durable. Perhaps something a bit smaller. Something a bit wearable. Mm. Like a ring or an amulet, bracelet, something like that. So you actually know a night hag? I know of rumors of a night hag. 
I can think of another reason why we may want to speak to someone who knows about binding souls. And he points over his shoulder towards the lich. Yeah, uh, it's another thing. And then, of course, there's our dear, sweet little Alistair. What about him? Well, he used to spawn one of those things. Not necessarily that one, or even a night hag, but spawn of a hag. I mean, let's be honest, if she offered to take him off our hands, would you say no? <laughs> he seems to keep the Nizumi on one foot, off balance a little bit. That does work to our advantage. I'm not sure. This pure evil, and uh, we're surrounded by enough evil. If she, could help, if she could help us locate, however, the liches... You know what? Um, maybe again, expert in soul binding. Truth is truth, Chaga. Believe it or not, you, you trust that this creature can be dealt with. This night-looking hag. I think it's worth a try. What? It is rumoured, however, she's in a somewhat... The term enchanted forest is used very... Oh. Overly used, especially with the number of fairies we have here, but... I understand there's a bit of druid log activity in the area. Yeah, druids, outdoors, mosquitoes... Ah, oh, sadly so... It is only temporary, though. And it's for your friend. Puts his hand on the jar. Hey, no, I don't think Chaga wants to help you. <laughs> what? What are we doing? Chaga, you said. No, oh, I, I said, yes, we're, we're trying to figure out if this eagle... This evil night stalking hag thing could help you. Could she make me a sword? Um, that's not exactly it. We're worried that if right, someone. We could... know how to make this sword. Your sword worried. could be lost. We don't know. We're worried that if somebody breaks your your delicate little urn here, that um, well, you may cease to exist. Yeah, that would be bad. I, I can't become the best swordsman ever if I didn't exist. Mm. We also remember you're a little more free than the bound creature over there. Yes. His soul is angry and dark. Oh. I can see through the walls. Yeah, it's just probably stay away from that one. I don't want to go over there. Yeah, we don't want you going over there neither. All right. We don't fully understand your condition. Perhaps this... Nocturnal hag could help us. <laughs> Barnabas is trying not to roll his eyes. With <laughs> nocturnal hag. <laughs> yes. Tell me how to pick up a sword. Yes, I suppose you could help with that. All right, then we are off to make plans. Is that? Uh... Don't anyone know you, um, you know, go camping for extended periods of time? Or we can have to hire someone for that. Uh, I, I do have spent a few afternoons in lovely glades as I've practiced my dowsing. And I'm good at foraging. Chaga's got one rank in survival for a plus eight. 
Oh, maybe Junker knows something. About oh, yes, Junker is an urban druid. Uh, still, he's got to be even living on the streets. It's, I mean, it's not quite the same, but you've got to have certain instincts for survival there. Oh, yes, yes, the Junker is always sniffing around. I think Ghost is more of a. Uh, you realize he sneaks in here and reads the books when we're not watching. It's fine. Never keep someone from learning. Yeah, Alistair could use a listen or two. Yeah, Alistair's, um, I don't think he's the reading type. I think we're quite fortunate thus far. He hasn't decided to set anything on fire. No, nothing very big in you. He was roasting, um, insects with a magnifying glass that he found. That's fine with me. It's... Sure it won't graduate to anything worse. Of course it will. <laughs> yes, it was in. It sounds like we need to find a tracker or someone at least to help us go through the woods. How far are we talking? Two, three days. Oh, most dreadful. Is that two or three days round trip? Uh, no, two, three days out, two, three days back. Oh. We're going to have to walk. We could rent a car. We got the money to buy a car and a horse. If you, Let's fucking do that. Fuck, I hate walking. <laughs> I don't know how to drive wagons. Uh, not much of a rider either. Well, maybe we could hire someone. Yes, we'll hire someone. I doubt they'll be around for the end, though. Which means we might not have to pay them. You could hire me. You? Yes. You think a horse is going to listen to you? We'll be lucky if it doesn't take off fucking running. I will help you get what you need. If you pay me a magic sword. I already told you, we'll get you a magic sword when we got the funds for a magic sword. Your Barnabas, you seem to know people. Um, I'd rather not leave this task to the two Nizumi. Who knows who they would dredge up. All right, I'll go looking about. See who we can hire. I will just stay here and read about... Oh... Um, what about this? It's a book on, um, uh, not runecraft. So it's, it's a book on gemcraft. Oh, yes, gems, rubies and emeralds, no doubt. It's a book about rubies and oh, what is that? Oh, fascinating crystals. <laughs> Junker's got the skills we need for survival. It's just yep. the... And he's got three ranks in Handle Animal. So Barnabas talks to Junker first. He finds the two Nizumi. Who I assume are together most of the time. Yeah, they're playing checkers. Uh, it's actually Junker's rat is playing checkers with Ghost, and Ghost is like frustrated that <sighs> Junker is not actually playing. <clears throat> oh, what have we got here? What you want, fancy pants? Says Ghost. Fancy pants. Yeah, pants. Well, I was fancy, wondering if either of you are. Uh... Got any knowledge about how to survive out in the wild? Kind of looking at Junker, but talking to Ghost. <laughs> yeah. What's it to you? 
Well, we've got kind of a trip planned. You sure you want to move that there? Oh, it's not about moving out there. No, he's, he's talking to Junker's friend oh, t- who pushed a checker piece into, into a spot. Uh, all right, 12 to 1. I let him win on the first time. Now he's hooked. Right. I tell you about biting. <laughs> it's a familiar, so it's smart, right? <laughs> Trip that's going to take us out into the woods somewhat. You guys in? You, you broke up. I heard woods. We've, we're planning a trip that's going to take us to the woods some. You guys in? I uh, yeah, learn sure. your language. All right. It's going to be. Well, it's the woods. Uh oh. Five shares of six. Oh. It's going to be for uh, six shares this time. Bring in the ghost. Oh, uh, he's coming. Just remember, I'm ghost. You're right. Your ghost, he's the ghost. How about we call him Spectre? Mm. Or just Loesch. Call him Ray. Wraith, all right, that's your preferred. It's not a ghost. I, I got kicked out of the server. Uh-oh. Oh. I might have to reload uh, map tools. Oh, yeah. Save quickly. Okay. Hey, All right, 